Hello and welcome to Winging It. And so after a bit of a break, we are back with some more games from the Oronoko Goose Outlast. And uh, we are through into the final 16. So um, yeah, I couldn't record uh, the last two games from the previous rounds. Uh, I was traveling at the time, but it was pretty tense. It was pretty tense, gotta say. So uh, penultimate game, very narrow loss by just a couple of points. Uh, so it all came down to the final game. And we did manage to get just enough of a win there. 14 points in the end. And yeah, we finished in those top 16 spots, which means we are through into this final round and it all becomes a knockout. So all very familiar, back to what we're used to. No more points difference. It's all just about winning. And yeah, best of three. So um, hopefully, like I say, we can uh, get through this first round and make our way through this knockout bracket. So uh, we're going up second here in the game one against JJ Lig. So let's jump into game one and let us see what we're going to get. First starting hand of the best of three game. And okay, it's all looking very, uh, it's all looking very full tuck here, got to say. Um, okay, lots and lots of good options here, which we'd like to see. And Citizen Scientist, to be fair, not often would go for that, but this might be the game for that. So, okay, okay. I mean, Chiff Chef is a must. Chiff Chaff is an absolute must. But to be honest, this is the this is the default. This is the default arrangement I'm thinking of. But you gotta get food for these birds. These are quite expensive birds. Um, however, we do have some good options of both the Oreo and the Cardinal. Very tasty options. Um and yeah, Oreo. Oreo, of course, uh, slightly better with that Starness as well. Which could definitely come into play, so. Uh, do we have a berry in the feeder? That's where you always check when you go in Oriole. We do indeed. So I um, could definitely see myself doing that. Could definitely see myself play Oriole, get food a couple of times, um, play these birds in the wetlands and just start drawing. I mean, that's a three-point engine. You get one tuck on the girl, two on the chiff chaff. So um, you just keep digging until you find birds that you want to play. And then, yeah, getting the food for that should be, should be in theory, pretty straightforward. So... Um, the alternative, of course, is the Cardinal. You save yourself a turn, you play the Cardinal straight away. Um, but you know what? I think for that one extra turn, the fact that it's six extra points and it's going to help uh, for potentially a couple of these end of rounds. Get a, get some birds down, because often end of rounds you do end up missing when you go in full tuck like this. So to at least be able to hit a couple feels quite nice. And yeah, obviously give berries to everyone, but... I think I can live with that. So I think I might lock this in. I think we will go citizen scientist because Chiff Chaff. Yeah, it's guaranteed three. And who knows, you know, you get yourself a couple of eagles, get yourself up to six points. So um, let's lock that in. And so, yeah, we didn't actually look. Let's see what our opponents kept. Okay, two, uh, two food, three birds. So they might have, they might have something decent as well. But yeah, the key for this is really just find, uh, find more wetland birds. Um, could have kept, could have kept the, uh, the Magansa, but oh, Kingbird straight off the bat, okay. Um, could have kept that Magansa, but I think it's going to slow me down that a little bit too much. Um, obviously no no fish there, so I'd have to keep the fish, but then that slows me down getting the Oriole. So I'm, I'm kind of looking for more flexible birds, so Ringbill Girl's perfect because it eats anything. Um, so yeah, that's going to be very, very helpful. So speedy play here, Kingbird going down. They must have a wetland bird. The Kingbird's good in the forest. And we're just going to play our Oriole. Because we can't can't be faffing about too much here. But yeah, I think we just take food twice. Um, play chiff, chaff, legs, play gull. And then draw cards. Start start digging. Um, like I said, it's, it's guaranteed three points every turn. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be about waiting and seeing what else we can find. Bush tit would have been lovely for us. Um, so they made very good use of that free worm straight off the bat. Um, yeah, okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. Not super enthusiastic, like I say, given the given three pre cherries out to someone who is potentially doing a full tuck themselves. But hey, needs must. It's uh, it's gonna help me out here. It's gonna help me out here. So yeah, like I say, he is uh, get these down, and then I mean, if we can find an egg source, so. Like I say, that bush tit would have been nice for us. It's like a bird, get an egg. Um, but there's plenty of other options. Plenty of other options, so 
um, something like a yeah blackbird would be nice um, yeah definitely any of those kind of options uh, it's probably probably what we're going to be looking for but um, yeah for now we can uh, we can make do we can make do with this so very very speedy stuff pieball grebe kind of also potentially what we're looking for um, but yeah that's uh, that's good for them so they uh, they'll be able to do a bit of digging so that's all their birds they started with but uh, you know you see a lot of cards here so that's really their advantage see lots of cards and then of course get two points every time so yeah I think for for both of us it's going to be a very a very very similar equation get birds down and start digging so yeah going to be uh going to be a little bit of a decision of course what food I used to play the gull with berry is pretty much guaranteed going to be used but then worm or worm or seed um this is the kind of position where I feel like uh, no matter which one you pick it's going to be the wrong one so if I use a worm I probably should have kept that because I'm going to draw a barn swallow or something um and yeah if I use the seed I'm probably going to draw that blackbird uh, that I could have easily played so um I think I think we'll keep the worm just because that does tend to come up more often in these kind of tucking birds but it's probably a 50 50 and like I say it's probably one where uh, I'm gonna get it wrong either way so <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna stress too much about it with my uh with my forest yeah I can always chuck a card get three food and probably yeah probably only need to take food maybe only once more this game depending on what I find um and that is going to be the key so yeah whenever you're doing these kind of full tuck setups you want to maximize the number of turns you're drawing cards and to do that you want to minimize the number of turns you're doing anything else but drawing cards and that includes of course getting food and laying eggs so and we're happy we've got this set up so already 17 points on the board very nice I'm gonna get uh, one for the end of round but obviously yeah three points just from drawing cards here so uh, my opponents they're going for food so they must have found something good um, hopefully for our sake not more tucking birds but like I say when you're looking at four cards a turn you're going to find good stuff uh, but we we're looking at three so we're looking at three cards a turn obviously three less than four but um, still not bad grey cat bird uh, definitely not bad at all uh, we like to see that there is a berry in the feeder so I could very easily grab that uh, play the cat bird get down to business so I might do that Godwit probably I don't know I might keep it I'm in this position where once the catbird goes down I'm drawing two and then Chiff Chef lets me tuck three so I can always keep extras left over so I think that's what we're going to do and I can see a mallard in the tray and a sandpiper oh okay um okay that's going to be interesting. Um, well, I think we draw, because I think... Yeah. Mallard. Mallard Catbird. I think could be the two to play, and I think one turn going for food. Let's me get both of those down. And then that's a six-point engine, so to be honest, that might be me done. I might be drawing cards here, taking food, laying eggs, playing these two birds, and then I've got 13 turns left to just get six points a time uh, that might be the equation so yeah let's uh, I suppose I could even add both let's think about this if I added Sandpiper and Mallard it's an extra point every time but this is a this is a difficult one choose it between these two um, because yeah this is five points better than this but uh, five points for giving yeah, what would that be? 13 cards to my opponent. I'm not sure that's a fair trade, so... Um, I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards Mallard. Um, for sure, so... I think we keep the... Do we keep the Wobbler here, or do we... Chuck one, or tuck one. Um, so I think we tuck the Wobbler, and then, yeah. Whichever of... Um, oh, there is Blackbird. Wrong kind of Blackbird. Oh, there's the online error, so we're going to get a few of these. I think... Um, today so hopefully it's not gonna be too bad um, yeah the, uh, the online game has been a bit um, a bit unstable 
should we say today so we're going to try and push through it um try and get a video out but yeah hopefully um hopefully not too many interruptions here okay we are back with our turn very interesting tray so they picked up birds um i'm not really a huge fan of leaving that american crow for them and equally that white backed woodpecker those are two very very good birds um, so I might, I might just delay everything by one turn. Um, it's going to cost me three points because I'm taking a three-point turn here instead of um, the potential six points that I could be getting um, once everything's down. But three points to deny uh, two A-tier birds for them. I feel like it's probably worth it. So, um, yeah, I think... Uh, I think these are not going to be uh, super useful for me, so we'll uh, we'll pretend they never existed uh, and just get rid of them. <laughs> and there we go. So Sapsucker is decent, but you like to see uh, Thegless Lark pop up in place of uh, in place of pretty much anything. So yeah, hopefully. Okay, good. Oh, Chihuahua Raven. Okay, well maybe they do want Thegless Lark. Um, okay, bit of a bit of a grassless pivot going on. Would not be surprised if they go and pick up that Bruce Blackbird. So yeah, with a uh, Chihuahua Raven, definitely don't want to be going cards with Sandpiper. But um, I think, yeah, I think we just do this. Uh, we got the the worm already, and we're obviously going to get a berry here. And so I think we just get everything down. So we might just trying to think about this. We might need to postpone uh, the Catbird just so we hit this end of round. Um, that's going to be a, a difficult one. Because my plan would be to lay eggs, lay two birds, um, and then start drawing. But if I do that, I'm not going to have any eggs on the on the Oriole. And that is potentially going to hurt me. It's two points to send around. Uh, but to be honest, drawing with just the mallard down or just the catbird down, I'm costing myself two points. So I'm not sure it's worth it either way. Um, we're going to play catbird. I think, I think that's what we want to get down first. We'll play the mallard. I think that does make a bit more sense. Um, and yeah. Like I say, I think once this is set up, then we just run that to the end. We are going to get three points because we've got four birds. So, um, yeah, three points on Citizen Scientist. Like I say, you take it. Um, there's not many not many bonus cards you want to see when you're running full tuck. And there's not many times that you actually want to see Citizen Scientist come up. And this is one of those. So fish crow as well. Man, they could have had, they could have had the full uh, murder of crows going on with the... Uh, the American as well, so maybe I didn't need to deny those. Maybe I necessarily cost myself points, but like I say, kind of playing it a bit safe. Um, felt like I had to do that, so um, yeah, just one of those things. But uh, we're gonna play Catbird, so that'll put us on to 28. And then, like I say, it's, it's six points to the end, so we've got 12 turns, six points a turn, 72 points. That's looking like a clean hundred, assuming well, actually, th with three more from this. Um, and then, yeah, it's just going to be about can we find eagles? You know, we've got space for one because um, we're not going to have any eggs. Don't really want to lay eggs. So if I get either of the two eagles, they're going to be worth playing in this scenario. Um, but yeah, actually, I do need to think about this. Let's think about this a little bit more carefully because we're tying this end around. So it's not just two points that it's costing me. Um, I'm kind of expecting that they have something. What would they have for all those worms that they're picking up? Um, I don't remember anything in the tray. But of course, every chance they've, uh, they've picked something up. So yeah, if they, if they do play another one, that would... Uh, that would then win them the end of round. But... I think this is still worth playing. Because even... Uh, Tying this end around is, f yeah, 
Oh, I might be, I might be costing myself a point here. I'm already costing myself three with the unnecessary deny. So, hmm, a little bit hesitant here. It would be two turns. This is the problem. It'd have to be two turns because I'd be drawing cards twice. That's, I, I just got to play this. I have to just play this. I think if it ends up where laying eggs would tie the end around, I think it's worth doing that because it's still. I think that then becomes seven points to lay eggs. Um, because I go from zero to four in the end around and two eggs, so six, and I take one of them, so seven. And obviously, drawing cards only um, six. Uh, and also, obviously, those eggs do give me a bit of flexibility where if I do get multiple eagles or, or something like that that I want to play, um, then that would help. And certainly, I mean, I, I kind of. I kind of desperately need to find one eagle. Okay, red out of it. Yeah, fine. We don't need to worry about end around then. Um, I think we just, I think we just draw. But yeah, one of those eagles would hit both these end arounds. So if I can find one, very very quickly. And to be honest, I might. Does it matter if I copy? Yeah, I'll be copying the goal. So I draw three, four, five. Yeah, I, I, I'm seeing six cards a turn. So um, I should be, I should be finding, um, I should be finding some eagles. Uh, but we take Finding Puffin. I'm not going to play it, but um, they certainly would if they found it. So good to be bearing that. There we go. Let's start. Start doing the tucking. Turn 1 of 12. Hopefully, well, hopefully only 11, like I say. Because we do want one of the Eagles. But there we go. 37. 37 points already and 6 points a turn. 6 points a turn from here on in. So yeah, should be uh, should be looking good. Like I say, triple digits, I think, is on the cards, but... When you got Raven, um, anything is possible. And certainly, I think they're going to smash all these end around, so oh, we do need to be careful. Okay, three rodents. Smells like a golden eagle, which I feel like I might have seen in the tray. Not been paying close enough attention there. I did indeed, or maybe I didn't, but it's come up. Um, so yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm very interested they didn't pick up the uh, the Feckless Lark. I feel like this is prime Feckless Lark situation here. Because you've got loads of food, you can easily clear the eggs off it, but... Um, yeah, they seem uh, they seem happy enough there. Uh, just to go with the Golden Eagle, so... Not too much to think about here, we're just going to draw cards. <laughs> um, and yeah, we need to make sure we're copying this record card. So that's going to get a lot of tuck cards on it. Uh, but that's the idea. That is the idea. So, um, yeah, might not be uh, might, not, might not be the most interesting rest of this video, but I've got to say, uh, JJ Lig, they do seem to be playing pretty fast. So we're going to be fast here. We're going to be quick on our turns. Uh, assuming that they follow suit, they are drawing cards here. Um, that we should we should all be good. Um, I was thinking that I was wondering if they're going to pick up that water snipe because that that potentially would help me because it would give me a bit more flex on finding eagles and playing them, but also extra cards I can just copy with the catbird and uh, do some tucking, so. And Flamingo, glad they've not found that. That can get buried as well. Oh, there's the other raven. And eager as well, so yeah. More of these good birds that we find. More of these big point birds that we find. The less there are for them to find, so. Um, that's the... Yeah. That's the idea. Find big point birds and bury them. Uh, because I think that's going to be their key. Because the card draw is pretty good. Like I say, four cards a turn. It's helped them out so far for sure. Finding Raven, Woodcock, Eagle, all these, all these lovely, uh, lovely birds to be playing. But they're drawing again, so uh, maybe they're not finding good stuff. Uh, Mute Swan, too late for you. That would have been nicer earlier, especially with the cat birds. Uh, but that's not going to happen. Killed it. Also, good one to be burying. Um, so let's just uh, let's just keep up with that. Like I say, more turns to uh, to bury the good cards, and uh, the points stack it up for us. So I don't know. I honestly don't know about this game. Uh, it's a, it's a weird position when you have a full tuck like this because you can sort of see. You know, I I know my score unless I find an eagle, which I think an eagle is worth a couple more points here, one or two more points. Obviously, I'd have to skip some tucks to be able to play it. And loads of good birds coming up. Um, but I know, I know roughly 
Um, I know roughly what my uh, my final score is going to be. I have no idea what theirs is going to be. But like I say, with uh, yeah, with Raven and winning all these end of rounds, um, the sky's the limit. So we can we can only do what we can do. This is this is weirdly a position where if this was still in uh, in the previous survival rounds and it was all about points difference. I'd feel pretty comfortable because I know it's not going to be too big of a difference either way. Um, but here, small differences can, uh, can ruin your game. So Bob White's good for them. That now turns that into, well, assuming they use both of these, a uh, three or four point engine, which is pretty good. But I'm going to keep saying it. It's, uh, it's no match. It's no match for us. So Blackbird, that's what we were looking for earlier. Too late for you. Uh, Swallow as well. Yeah. We're at this point now where... Basically, any bird we draw is is too late because we would have to gain food and lay eggs to then play it. So that's two turns where we're missing out on six points every turn guaranteed. So you, know, you lose 12 points just to play another bird. It's got to be worth more than 12 points um, for the rest of the game. And uh, there's no rest of the game here to be uh, working with. So yeah, a bit of a shame, but um, so be it. Um, let us keep Drawing, drawing, drawing. Seeing what we get. Like, say eagles. Would have been nice, more big point birds that we could just bury. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, I think we're doing okay here. Another end around for them. <laughs> nice tray. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm thinking about. Oh, there we go. Well, you came up a slightly too late, but uh, I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you. Um, good Benelli. So yeah, uh, we'll do the maths on this real quick. Ordinarily playing Benelli, 11 points, 8 plus 3 tucks. Uh, but here, I'm going to have to skip tucks. So I have to skip one for the Benelli itself, and then of course the 3 tucks itself to, to feed it. So it's 11, but it's actually less 4, so it's 7. Um, but of course 7 is more than 6, uh, but it also gives me 4 from the end of round. So um, yeah, I uh, I don't mind. I don't mind skipping some tucks to uh, to, uh, to play Benelli. Um, the only issue is it's a bit of a telltale. They're going to see, obviously, now you can see uh, how many cards are in people's hands. They're going to see I've kept a card. And there's only one reason you keep a card in this situation. Uh, it's because you found one of the eagles. So yeah, not gonna not gonna make a difference for citizen scientists, but. Are they going for food? Oh, okay, no, they're playing Turtle Dove. <laughs> that, that, that was a bit strange, but it's still a bit strange to be going from the bird feeder with that. Um, but there we go. Um, fine by me. I suppose, actually, do we copy Mallard? Does that help? Um, I'm not sure it makes a difference. Um, because if I if I copy Mallard, let's think about this. I draw three, four, five. I do a tuck and draw on the goal, and then tuck four. So it's still five points. It, yeah, I think I think it's akin to skipping a chiff chaff tuck is switching um, which one I copy, and I'm still still seeing the same number of cards. So we'll, we'll try it out. It's, <laughs> I don't think it makes a difference. Um. I suppose it's easier this way because I don't. I'm not going to accidentally tuck too many cards if I uh, if I copy the mallard. Um, but if I copy the goal one time, I can even out the tucks on the chiff chaff, the mallard, and the catbird. And as anyone who's ever gone full tuck knows, the most important part of a full tuck is uh, is trying to even out as much as possible uh, the number of tuck cards you've got down. So. We're going to focus on that. Uh, but yeah, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure my, what my opponent... was their play? Do they just lay eggs for the rest of the game now? Do they have space for, for doing that? They took a food from the bird feeder and immediately chucked it for an egg. Uh, which is a bit uh, a bit funny. Okay, so they're taking fish. Well, the thing is, we know they've not got egret. We know they've not got puffin, but there's plenty of others. They could be fine. And so yeah, probably... I don't know, I think they could. I think probably legs twice. Legs twice and play a bird. 
Um, but maybe... Uh, yeah, maybe they can legs three times. I don't know. They'll do what they want. Uh, it's not up to me. Uh, I'm glad they didn't find that earlier. Um, as with snow bunting, to be honest, that can often kill... That can kill the vibe quite a bit uh, when you're going full tuck, so... Glad that's not made an appearance. Um, so yeah, we want to do... Um, yeah. I want to do this. There we go. So those are nice and even. And then, yeah, one more turn drawing cards here. And uh, then we get to play Benelli. So it's all good. We're happy. Uh, we get, yeah, one more one more point from play Benelli and then four from the other round. So I think, what's that going to put us on? 108, something like that? I'm not quite going to get 110. I can't really tell if this is a 110 board. It doesn't really look like it, but maybe with some gnarly bonus cards and maybe if they've got like a uh, a woodstalk or something to get another bonus card that could be their ticket but let's uh, let's wait and see let's wait and see what are they doing okay they are getting lots of fish they're, they're, they're baiting they've got puffin but I know you've not got it because it's already go it's already been and gone uh, unfortunately a chaffinch comes up and uh, a cuckoo which often does pair well with full tucks in this situation um, okay, so we do Gull, Condor, sometimes nice with uh, with full tuck, because you've got no food. And then, yeah, let's just make sure we're doing this properly. One, two, three, we save our three extra tuck cards here. And uh, yeah, we're giving the game away completely. Um, I often like to keep Benelli for the last turn just so it's a bit of a surprise, but... It's not going to be a surprise. You see four cards in hand when someone's running full tuck like this and every card is a point. Uh, you know only one thing's coming, so... Yeah, it's going to be a nice play. Like I say, to be able to hit this end around. If it had come one round sooner, that's three more points. So it would have been nice, but... Not to be okay. Maybe they are just going to legs again. I suppose you chuck a... Yeah, if you chuck the foods... Five, six... Golden Eagle's doing work. But yeah, it doesn't look like they're playing another bird, so... Um... Yeah, I don't know if that's good or bad, um, but we shall see as we go and get Benelli down. So there we go. Pretty good game, I think. Um, yeah, definitely some uh, some interesting points. Maybe not for the last two rounds, but um, yeah, often the crux of a full tuck is in the, the early game setup. Getting it down quickly. Give yourself as much time as possible. And boy, oh boy, am I glad I had Citizen Scientists there backing me up at the end of the game so there we go they win all the end of rounds but I don't know hopefully this is one of those rare cases where uh, the player winning all the end of rounds doesn't win the game so bonus cards for them only five that is excellent use because they had um, a couple I believe end of rounds 22 to 5 absolutely destroyed uh, eggs as well of course they're looking pretty good and some tuck cards for them but we have our tuck cards counting up I think we're going to be really really close to that so I have no idea which way this game's going to go. It's 108-108, but we lose on a food tiebreaker. Oh boy. Wow, that was a, that was a game and a half for sure. Um, yeah, slightly, maybe slightly unlucky uh, bonus cards for them. But man, <laughs> that is, uh, that's pretty gut-wrenching. Um, like I say, in... Uh, in the best of threes, you don't want to see these results. In the survival, excellent. You take that all day long, but yeah, not what we're in it here. So a uh, bit unfortunate. Maybe a bit of good luck finding the Benelli, but like I say, one round sooner. If it had come one round sooner, we could have got that down, got those three extra points. Um, and maybe if we hadn't denied, if we hadn't slowed down to uh, to deny the crow, uh, obviously those three extra points would have made the difference. But sometimes you've got to play it safe and do those denials. Uh, even if they are going to backfire. So there we go. What a game. Um, sadly ends in defeat for us, but uh, it's best of three, so we've still got a couple more games hopefully to come. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next one of those very, very soon.